Hi, I am Teacher Daisy. Now, let's learn Form 4 Chemistry Chapter 3 Part 3, The Mole Concept, Chemical Formula and Equation. In this part, you will learn 3.3 Chemical Formula. 3.3 Chemical Formula A chemical formula is a representation of a chemical substance using letters for atoms and subscript numbers to show the number of each type of atoms that are present in the substance. A chemical formula tells us the composition of a chemical. Example, water is made up of two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. The chemical formula H2O. H is the symbol for element hydrogen and O is the symbol for element oxygen. Subscript 2 refers to two hydrogen atoms. Chemical formulae of some substances. For atoms, carbon chemical formula is C. For molecule, hydrogen gas chemical formula H2. Made up of two hydrogen atoms. For compounds, ammonia NH3 contains nitrogen and oxygen, with the ratio of N is to H equals 1 is to 3. Zinc hydroxide, ZnOH2, contains zinc, oxygen and hydrogen with the ratio of Zn is to O and H, equals 1 is to 2 and 2. For compounds, there are two types of chemical formulae, namely molecular formula and empirical formula. Molecular formula, formula that shows the actual number of atoms, of each element present in one molecule of the compound. Empirical formula, formula that shows the simplest whole number ratio of atoms, of each element present in the compound. Example, ethane, molecular formula, C2H4, C is to H, equals 1 is to 2. Empirical formula, CH2. Determining empirical formula, steps in determining the empirical formula of a compound, determining the mass of each element in the compound, converting the mass of each element into the number of moles of atoms, determining the simplest ratio of number of moles of atoms of each element. Example, 1.08 grams of aluminium powder combines completely with 0.96 grams of oxygen to produce an oxide compound. What is the empirical formula of the oxide? Relative atomic mass, O16, AL27. Solution, element, aluminium, AL and oxygen, O, mass in gram, 1.08 and 0.96, Number of moles of atoms, 1.08 divided by 27 equals 0.04, and 0.96 divided by 16 equals 0.06. Ratio of number moles of atoms, 0.04 divided by 0.04 equals 1, and 0.06 divided by 0.04 equals 1.5. Simplest ratio of number of moles of atoms, 2 and 3, 2 moles of aluminium atoms, combined with 3 moles of oxygen atoms. So, the empirical formula of aluminium oxide is Al2O3. Determining molecular formula. Molecular formula is a multiple of empirical formula, where n is an integer. Molecular formula equals empirical formula n compound empirical formula, n molecular formula, water, H2O, n equals 1, H2O1, equals H2O, ethane, CH3, n equals 2, CH32, equals C2H6, propane, CH2, n equals 3, CH23, equals C3H6, the determination of a molecular formula requires its empirical formula, its relative molecular mass, or its molar mass. Example, a compound has an empirical formula of CH2, 
and a relative molecular mass of 70. What is the compound's molecular formula? Relative atomic mass, H, 1, C, 12. Solution. Let the molecular formula of the compound to be, CH2N. Its relative molecular mass should be, equals N times, 12 plus 2 times 1, equals 14N. Relative molecular mass equals 70, so, 14N, equals 70. N, equals 70 divided by 14, equals 5, therefore, the molecular formula of the compound, is, CH25, which is C5H10. Calculation involving empirical and molecular formula. The percentage composition, based on mass can be calculated as follows. Percentage of an element by mass, in a compound equals. Mass of the element in one mole of the compound, over mass of one mole of the compound, times 100%. Example. Calculate the percentage by mass of carbon in octane, C8H18, relative atomic mass, H1, C12. Solution. The mass of one mole of octane, C8H18, equals 8 times 12, plus 18 times 1, equals 114 grams, based on its formula. One mole of C8H18 has 8 moles of carbon atoms. The mass of carbon in one mole of C8H18 equals 8 times 12 equals 96 grams. So, the percentage by mass of carbon equals mass of carbon in one mole of C8H14. Mass of one mole of C8H14 times 100% equals 96 divided by 114 times 100 percent equals 84.21 percent chemical formula of ionic compounds the formula of an ionic compound combines the formula of its cation positive ion and the formula of its anion negative ion example ionic compound and a cl consists of and a positive cation and Cl negative anion. Examples of cations. Examples of anions. Write the formula of ionic compound. Write the formula of the cation, followed by the formula of the anion. Determine the number of cations and anions by balancing the positive charges and negative charges. The formula of an ionic compound is neutral, because the total positive charges, equal the total negative charges. Example, Al2O3, has Al, 3 positive cation, and O, 2 negative anion, take the 2 from the O, and use it as the subscript for Al. Take the 3 from Al, and use it as the subscript for O. The subscript's number shows the number of cations and anions. Total positive charge equals positive 6. Total negative charge equals negative 6. So formula Al2O3. Example, iron, 3, chloride, has Fe3 positive cation and Cl negative ions. 1 Fe3 positive ion and 3 Cl negative ions. Total positive charge equals 1 times positive 3 equals positive 3. Total negative charges equals 3 times negative 1 equals negative 3. So formula is FeCl3. When polyatomic ions, such as OH, NO3, SO4 squared and NH4 are involved, brackets are used to show the number of ions in the formula. Mg. OH2. The brackets show there are two groups of OH negative. FeNO33. The brackets show there are three groups of NO3 negative. Naming of chemical compounds. Chemical compounds are named systematically, according to the guidelines, given by the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, IUPAC. Naming of ionic compounds. 
the name of Kathayan, is written first followed by the name of the anion. Example, sodium chloride, magnesium hydroxide. For elements that form more than one type of ion, Roman numerals, such as 1 and 2, are used to represent the charge of the ion. Example, lead 2 oxide, shows Pb2 positive ion, lead 4 oxide, shows Pb4 positive ion. Naming of simple molecular compounds, hydrogen sulfide, the name of less electronegative element, is written first, and the name maintained. The name of the more electronegative element, is added with the ending ide. Examples of names of simple molecular compounds, CO, carbon monoxide, Greek prefix mono, means one, carbon dioxide, Greek prefixes such as di, are used to show the number of each element in the molecule. The di here, means there are two oxygen atoms in the CO2 molecule. SO3, sulfur trioxide, tri means three, CCL4, carbon tetrachloride, tetra means four. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.